Hi, Me Too family. My name is Jorge. I am an editor with We Are Me Too. And I am here today to interview Julie Chavez Rodriguez, the deputy campaign manager for the Biden campaign. Hi, Jorge. Thank you so much for, um, you know, having me. It's great to be able to join you all and to connect with so many of your, you know, viewers and folks today. Of course. Well, thank you for joining us. We have a lot of questions about a lot of very important issues. So let's dive right into it. You know, there's a lot at stake right now for Latinos, uh, whether it's, you know, immigration, healthcare, there's so much going on right now. And our community with all of its intersectionality is really at risk. So my first question to you is, why do you believe in a Biden administration? I had the opportunity to work in the Obama Biden White House to see him firsthand, really, you know, throwing down um, in 2013 when we were pushing hard for the passage of immigration reform. Really, immigration reform was something that was important for our public safety, important for our businesses and our economy, important for, you know, really the future of our country. You know, again, I've seen him firsthand and, and I can say the same is true for Kamala Harris. What else does the Biden administration have planned when it comes to um, immigration and fixing the, the, the system to help those that are coming here to seek a better life. So on day one, yes, Joe you know, Biden would, one, put a 100-day moratorium on deportations while we looked at fixing and, and re-implementing some of the critical priorities within our immigration system, including reinstating DACA and ensuring that DREAMers that were protected under the program continue to be protected and also reopening the program so that those that have aged in since the program was established are able to apply and seek that same kind of protection. He would also send Congress to push forward a um, you know comprehensive immigration reform bill that really looked at modernizing the system. We need to restore humanity into our immigration system. What does Biden plan to do to help Americans get affordable health care to help people like me afford our prescription drugs and have affordable access to health care, um, especially when it's a pre-existing condition. I would say one of Joe Biden's, you know, proudest achievements was passing the Affordable Care Act with um, Barack Obama early in their administration because, you know, for him, health care is personal. There's so many families who have, um, you know, come across after months of treatment, all of a sudden the surprise bill that ends up you know, costing them uh, huge amounts of money. These are the things that, again, are keeping many Americans up at night, especially as we're dealing with this global pandemic. And I know it has grave consequences for the Latino community. You mentioned a little bit about the impact of COVID on the Latino community when it comes to health. But another, another major part of what's happened is the economic loss for Latinos. They're one of the hardest hit when it comes to jobs, specifically Latinas, because a lot of those jobs involve a lot of personal interaction, being indoors, whether it's, you know, um, being made, cooked. There's so much that goes on um, with those jobs. So what is the plan to get these Latinos back to work? I think at one point, you know, New York saw 44% of Latinos out of a job. Well, I mean, I couldn't agree with you more in terms of Latinos being one of the hardest hit communities um, as a result of COVID. I mean, uh, just, you know, to shed light on over 42,000 Latinos have died as a result of COVID. Joe Biden put forward a plan to, you know, one, get the COVID crisis under control, first and foremost. So that's ensuring, you know, testing, treatment, ultimately the vaccine is available to all workers, regardless of immigration status, because we know that um, this pandemic does not, you know, sort of differentiate based on country of origin, our um, citizenship. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about um, Puerto Rico. There is a new kind of pocket of voters in Florida, which the Latino community there is traditionally very conservative because of the Cuban Americans. What would be your pitch to people for Puerto Rico now in Florida to go out and vote and to be more active in politics now that they're living on the mainland? You know, as you mentioned, Florida is such a, you know, a really important state, but also a very interesting and diverse state when it comes to the Latino population. You know, what I would say to, to Puerto Ricans in Florida is that they have so much power in their hands to decide the future of not just the island, but the future of our country. This is the most consequential election um, of our lifetime. Thank you so much, Julie, for taking the time to speak with us today. I really appreciate you um, really giving us some insight into what a Biden administration would look like. Um, so thank you for your time and thank you for answering all of my questions today. Well, thank you so much, Jorge. You know, this election is so important and I just really appreciate you taking time to 
you know, have a conversation with me and to remind, you know, everybody out there that, um, you know, folks just need to get out and vote. If you um, need to know where you're registered to vote or how you can vote by mail or anything, there's a great resource, IWillVote.com, um, VoyAvotar.com, where you can get everything that you need and let your tias, tios, you know, everybody know in your family. It's just so important. We cannot sit this one out and we can't cede our power to anyone.